So as many of you may know, I did do a stream just the other day on me playing a bunch of games on the PS5. And I did play Dynasty Warriors Night Empires, but it was on the external uh, drive. So it wasn't really able to show off the benefits that were reaped for said game. At the time, I did play it prior and I was pretty much just convinced that like the game is probably still running the same way and all that jazz because I played it uh, prior to that stream I had it on the internal drive and I played it and it didn't feel like anything was really all that different but this console is supposed to help with its loading times to make a game like this one that always struggles with the loading times to be non-existent maybe have the combat be a bit smoother and everything like that so you know what I want to give it one more try and see if this game actually does reap from the benefits for sure. I know this is probably a video that has been done plenty of times, especially with comparison videos with like PS4 versus, versus, versus PS5 and all that jazz. But I'm just gonna be doing a completely unedited video on this. And just so everyone can see and uh, get the confirmation, I do have this in action mode, which is supposed to be the one that's obviously better for the frame rate and all that jazz. So we're gonna see that. And then just so I can show it real quick as well, just so everyone is able to see, I'm gonna go over here real fast and show that it is definitely on the internal console storage, which just means we should be getting those benefits from it, just like any other game that is on the internal storage. So yeah, we're gonna be doing some stuff here. I've actually already got something prepped up and ready to go. I worked on it just while we were uh, while I was messing around and getting my recording ready. We're gonna be playing with Diao Chan here. We're gonna be doing stop the assassination, and if we can go even further into it, we will. But we're just gonna just hop in, see how the loading times are for this, and just get and just see just how good the frame rate can go when it's in combat as well so normally this loads in very very short like takes in forever to load on the ps4 and let me know your thoughts down below do you think this is an upgrade do you think this is an improvement let me know down below uh it looks like this loading is going by really fast holy shit okay that's really good but let me know down below. I'm really curious on your guys' thoughts on this. Do you think that this definitely is an upgrade? Hi, other me. Do you think this is an upgrade? Do you think it's not an upgrade? Let me know down below. Do you think the game looks prettier? We're going to be looking at, I'm sure, cutscenes as well as we play through this. And, of course, we already have combat ready to go and everything. So, I have noticed that there is still some screen tears every now and then. Which is, I feel like it's just typical DW9 at this point. The game itself just wasn't 100% well optimized, in my opinion, at all. And it definitely showed during the PS4. I'm assuming we're going to see some more smoothness out on the PS5 at least. So hopefully that is in fact the case. Honestly, it does already feel like it is. It feels like it's still not staying at a consistent 60. Because it does feel like it still has its moments where it slows down and everything. Which is not entirely great. But I do see some parts where it definitely shows some more smoothness to it that I didn't see on the PS4. So there is some definitely some a little bit of upgrade there. But again, it just didn't feel like that there was as much, which is why at the time I felt like, eh, it doesn't feel like this will be necessary to do for a video. Or even just have it on for the stream or anything. But I know this is probably one that people have really been asking me specifically. Um, so I really want to be able to show this off. And that way you all can be the judge yourselves and be like, okay, this is how it looks and everything. This is how it plays. Uh, this is how it loads in and everything. So I'll let you all be the de deciding factor. Of course, I'm sure it looks a little bit better for, uh, graphics wise as well, just a tad bit. Probably like how it does for the PS4 Pro. Obviously, I'm assuming it's going to be better than the PS4 Pro as well. But like, I mean, like it's going to get a little bit of an oomph to it and everything with the graphics. Um, and again, it does look like the, the frames aren't staying consistent, which is still a bit disappointing considering the kind of hardware that this game is. But this game is also like. Memory-wise, it's definitely not that big of a deal, but obviously that isn't something that always comes to the factor. Uh, the game is just really unnecessarily large, which is why I feel like it's one of the reasons why it still ends up being very, like, like slow in the frame rate. We get some screen tear. It just didn't feel like it was 100% well, like, made altogether, because as some of you know, this game was put through a lot of updates throughout the time of its life cycle. And of course, at this point, it is over. It's life cycle, I mean, so... It's just a matter of just seeing how... If it, if it does end up being a bit of an improvement, at least on this console. Because again, I can definitely see that it still has its moments where it slows down very weird-like. And uh, again, I want you all to be that judge. Be sure to let me know down below in the comments if you have seen this video, if you have seen other videos with it. Let me know. I'm very, very curious to see how you all are with it. So, please, let me know. I'm very, very genuinely curious. Do you think this is an upgrade? For those of you who only play on PS4 but are seeing PS5 gameplay from people or myself, do you think this is an upgrade? Please let me know down below because I'm very genuinely curious to see what you all think. Okay. This battle probably is also a pretty damn short one as well because I think I only have to fight Shaho Dune, Shaho Yuan, and then Sao Sao at the end. 
So, um, we'll probably do a little bit more battling afterwards. I'll probably pause the recording and all that jazz so we can actually, like, see everything. But I can definitely tell, like, it feels like when we do get that bit of 60, it definitely feels like I'm feeling it a little more often because even when I was playing on um, action mode on my PS4, it just didn't feel like I was really getting all of it. Let's try a Muso out, actually. Let's see how this looks. All right, let's just, let's just see how this looks. Okay, not bad looking. I mean, it's still, it still looks pretty much how it normally would look. Nothing too, nothing too fancy there. Uh, we do have... Oops, I didn't mean to put out that. We also have a spear potion. Let's use this real quick and see how the aerial Muso looks. But I want to do it on a bigger crowd, so we're probably going to head over to Southside real quick. Also, I got to make sure he doesn't, like, get away or anything anyway, so that's probably what I'll be doing next. Though I'm not going to be editing this. It obviously does have... If you get cuts here and there, it's because I paused the recording on OBS. We can see some stuff, but we're gonna let the cuts, let, let a couple cutscenes play out, or at least to see how they look and everything, and see how that uh, turns out for us. And with that Muso, I have my thumbnail shot. <laughs> yeah, I want to be able to see like how cutscenes and everything looks, and then the loading times and all that. I because, as you all know, we get a lot of dialogue in this game, and we also get a lot of loading, and the loading can take an absurd amount of time to get through. So, I'm really curious to see just how this all looks. This is kind of like a second slash first impression, because I didn't really get anything. I was playing with Sun Jian, and I did free mode, and I decided, fuck that, I want to see just how quickly I load in. And it loaded in pretty quick at the time. So, obviously, I'm not going to worry about anything that's happening here, but at least, um... Well, loading into the dialogue is never really that big of an issue, but you, I can definitely see... Yeah, I still see some tears here and there from the screen. But uh, the models look like they're moving a little bit more, like like you can see the smoothness in the frames a little bit better with the, with the 60 FPS. Oh my god, his beard is absurd. Alright, so let's see if we can get into a little bit of loading real fast, and then uh, we'll see how it goes. So we gotta get over here real fast. And again, we'll probably do a little bit more battling here and there. I probably won't do a battle to completion. But just so we can get a grand scheme of like how everything looks. I actually, this is actually my second recording, kind of, in a way. Because I tried to do one at the beginning of this chapter because free mode's, uh, DW9's free mode is not well made. Much like how a lot of this game is not well made. But, I'm just doing this because a lot of people really wanted to see confirmation about my thoughts on this. So I want to be able to show it, everybody, and uh, see like... You can hear my thoughts on it. You can see for yourself what's happening here. And then you, yourself, in the comment section can give your thoughts down below. And there will be moments where I probably stop cutscenes just, so we, we, just so we can get a grand idea of how it looks. So, oh. Okay. So, okay. So this is the battle we're doing here. Okay, cool. So now we're going to be doing a battle real fast. So again, I don't know if I'll be doing all of it, but we'll at least... Do some stuff to test out. You know what? Let's go like all the way down here and see how the loading time is for the fast travel. Because sometimes the fast travel is loading be pretty bad. That was a fast load in though, I gotta say. And again, I'm doing this based off of my experience with a regular PS4. I don't know how it was for the PS4 Pro. I never bothered to get one. So let me know, especially for those of you who have a PS4 Pro, let me know down below how you uh, experience, how do you think this is, uh, changes things? Do you think it changes much? Do you think it doesn't change anything? I'm going off the experience of the regular PS4. And on the PS4, just the basic PS4, it was not all great. I'm not going to lie to you. So I'm really, really genuinely curious, like, to know, like, for people who especially have, like, PS4 Pros, uh, how you all see this. Do you think it is an improvement? Do you think it's not an improvement? Let me, let me, let me, let me, let me know. But yeah, I gotta say, like the mo like the character models and everything, they look definitely look like they got a little bit of more oomph to them. It definitely feels like um, they look a lot smoother. The frames look like uh, from time to time they are definitely more nicer, and they don't like just drop every two seconds. <coughs> Excuse me. Honestly, I thought the fire would be worse. That's why I put fire on because I really wanted to see how the fire would look. It's keeping it consistently smooth when I do the fire, which is really interesting. All right, here EX as well did pretty well. <coughs> Lebo is defeated. I think there was still one more dude, yeah, Ji Ling. Need to be empires when I played a custom scenario. This man was actually uh, decked out with Lupu's moveset, which was quite interesting. Could anyone imagine like just generics with Lupu's movesets in any of the games? 
That'd be a nightmare. I feel like that'd be a legitimate nightmare. I don't normally go through with the memes of Lubu, but can't deny that this man had one heck of a move. Not in this game so much. I feel like this game he was probably has at his worst move set. Um, but I will say though that like if people had like had his move set like in DW8 or something like that, or maybe DW5, it'd be kind of scary to see generics with that move with that move set. I think it'd be quite scary. Wait a minute, we're not supposed to go here. We're supposed to go here. The game was pointing me to the main objective. It wants me to finish already. What are you trying to what are you trying to hide from me, game? I'm trying to see all the ins and outs. We're even gonna ride just to see how it goes as well. Because obviously I do get a couple tears every now and then on the PS4 when I was just riding my horse, but so far it doesn't look too bad. So far it looks kinda nice. So far, I'm enjoying what I'm looking at right now. And again, we've already seen some hiccups here and there. Uh, some frame drops already and all that stuff earlier on. But this one looks a little bit better. So far, it's been going a little bit nicer. I'm keeping an eye on the screen as best as I can. I'm probably going to miss this, like, miss a thing or two here. But So they're in the castle, but yet they also have Engineer and Archer Cats captains as well. Got to remember as well, this isn't DW9 Empire's. Uh, siege battle, so I'll probably get hit with some uh, some ridiculously stupid archers like that. Also, just in case anyone's curious, I'm playing on normal. This isn't for the sake of me just like doing combat. This is for the sake of me just seeing how the game plays on the console. So that's why I want to be able to like get through the battle quickly and just see how it plays out. You know? All right. So yeah, I'm very impressed that the flames actually handle the flame or handle the frames really well, or the frames handle the flames really well. That's right. That's what I should probably say. It looks like I need to go through this way. I think they're already inside the castle, which is good. Yep, they are. All right, so I can just go in here and beat up uh, Sinjian real quick. And the arrows actually are... The fire arrows actually aren't get it, like tanking the frame rate like they normally do too, which is definitely a plus. Those fire arrows always tank the frame rate every single time. Yeah, let's see this. No, it didn't drop it at all. That's actually really good because those are one of the annoying parts about this game is that the fire arrows for the siege battles always tanks the frame rate. They don't drop it at all this one. So that's actually really good. That's a good improvement right there from the PS5. I gotta say, that's really nice. Dung Bai with us during this battle? You're just talking from like, Wu Young is being very nice to me. Oof! Okay. Yibbity. All right. So yeah, that's definitely an improvement because on the PS4, those frames were dropping every single time I got hit by arrows. So I'm kind of letting these things hit me so I can see in like, if I can like reap the benefits of it. Sorry, this is also just something for me. Uh, she's only level 65. Let me see real quick. Keep that one on because that's very important. I don't mind keeping that one on as well just for now. Let's see. There's others I have for like this. Those ups. So now I get even more XP. I think I might have had three. Yep, there it is. Let's get rid of those dash rotations. No big deal. We can just stick with one. No big deal. It's nice to have him, but I'd rather have the one that attracts items to me. But all right, so far, so good. So far, everything's looking really, really nice. I'm not having any complaints so far with the siege battles or anything. That actually went by really smooth with the fire arrows, because the fire arrows were definitely the thing that were dropping frames. Kind of chugged a little bit there. Um, but that was good. That was good. I'm going to, I'll be sure to be like, you know, be generous. I mean, I know this game isn't the greatest. I am definitely the first to admit, I'm not to even admit, to state the fact that it's not well built all that well. Um, and I'll, and I've definitely called out plenty of its flaws, but so far not too shabby with how some things have been running. Uh, it's honestly been how I expected. I expected some hiccups still, um, but so far nothing, nothing too terrible, nothing too bad. I'm actually quite okay with how things are turning out. Still, wish the game would be a bit smoother. You can see some roughness on the frames because you'll see some screen tears. Things render in pretty quickly as well, which is nice. I'd like to have a cutscene happen in the middle or just be where we're inside a castle and everything. And I don't know 100%. I'm not going to just say anything, but it feels like a lot of soldiers are rendering in a little bit more. I could be wrong on that again because on the PS4, I didn't feel like they rendered in as much as they did on the PS5. And uh, so if that's the case, that's good there as well. But um, that's kind of what I've already expected. Like, obviously, it should do that, if, it, if that is the case. Yeah, it shows that it's really rendered out like a lot of people compared to the PS4, in my opinion. So that's that's probably a good thing. It's always felt like the times they were just very bare, but that's because a lot of soldiers wouldn't render in yet. So I'm just genuinely curious to see how this looks. Yebity. 
some of these guys real fast let's focus on Guan Yu now let's do a little Muso so we can see it again the transition there is also really smooth I gotta say very nice in PS4 again there were some issues where I ran into that which was uh, not fun hated it but uh, the transition there was, was kind of nice uh, to her cut in there to where you can see her prep up her Muso very much liked let me get this generic looking ass of John Young out of here Oh, I wasn't locked on to Junk Face, so I dropped it. Right. Right, junk Face gone. And there we go. Alright. You know, we got a big crowd right here. Let's try out this area of Musa real quick before they all vanish. Alright, handle that quite well as well. Not bad. Alright. We can move on to the, uh, to the next area of the battle, which is Defense Tishui Gate. Take a little bit of a nice little tour here. Take the horse again just to see how things like render in and see how everything turns out. Again, if I'm even missing like small details, let me know uh, like how the rendering is for like all the like all the environment, like trees and then like the ground and everything. Because sometimes the ground doesn't pop into place all that well. Sometimes it doesn't render in like quick enough. I'm doing this so you can see like everything, so you can see how quick things render in and all that. So again, let me know down below because there might be things that I don't bring up or miss. And uh, I'm going to need your guys' eyes for it. So please let me know down below because I'm genuinely curious about how all this is looking to you all. Also, since obviously you're seeing me record here, that probably means I won't be streaming today. Um, hence why I have the upload up for this day. Uh, I'm probably just going to be doing just a couple videos and then just giving my throat a little bit of a rest. Uh, so I don't end up aggravating because I am dealing with a lot of coughs still and everything and that does tend to aggravate my throat a lot for obvious reasons so I'm gonna be doing just a couple videos here and there just so y'all can see it and that way I can treat y'all to some fun little uh, warriors videos because again I know I wasn't doing a lot of content because I was stricken with COVID and everything which still technically am sucks but um because I'm still getting a lot of the symptoms and all that jazz the only thing that kind of went away at this point was my aches and pains but uh, aside from that everything else is pretty much still there which is unfortunate Goodbye, a ram. I will also say this, just a little off topic from the PS5 talk. Um, I kind of did like the fact that Sisui Gate and Hulao Gate had like big open areas for the siege battles. I just wish there was more going on here, and I wish that they did more for it. Like, where are the siege ramps? Where is any of that? Like, nothing's here. It was only the ram that they were relying on for Sisui Gate and Hulao Gate, I think. So, like, I wish that they did more. I guess Hulao Gate, I guess, is a little bit okay because Hulao Gate was built very, very tall for the siege ramps. But I mean, they could have just made like even bigger ramps and all that, but they didn't do that. All right, let's just do a little tiny bit one here just to see how it is around a lot of people again. A little bit of a quick camera pan as well. Went well, very smooth. It was very nice and smooth, gotta say. That was very good. Ooh, got our Muso. Can jump right in the middle of all this nonsense real fast and do another aerial. Again. Quite impressed with how that looks. Okay, that was just me defeating somebody, I think, so that's why I went slow there. So I'll let that slide. That's meant to happen, if I'm not mistaken. Alright, do a little fire again. I'm, I'm, that always used to drop my frames a hell of a bit, but it's definitely not doing it this time around, so that's definitely good. So, you know what? I definitely am glad I'm giving this a second chance, because now people can see the benefits of PS5. And uh, see things that did get better, some things that may not have gotten better. So, I think it's definitely good that I decided to give this another chance. Because I can definitely see that there's some benefits that have been reaped from it. I'm definitely liking what I'm seeing a bit. Alright, so I think we only have one more battle left. And that's the one with Yuan Xiao and Xiao Yun, if I'm not mistaken, is also there. Alright. Let's wait for this uh, scene to go away. We'll just keep beating up some dudes real fast, meanwhile. All right, everyone's starting to run away in panic. We just gotta wait for this uh, yellow bit to go away on the mini-map. Okay, grayed out. There we go, it's all done. Now we just have that final battle with uh, Yuan Shao. So you know what, let's do, uh, let's do another, excuse me, let's do another fast travel. Where can I go to fast travel? You know what, let me just see what it, okay, so it's gonna teleport me over here. So let's see how quick this is. Because again, even these fast travel stuff took me ages to load into, and I hated it. Okay, yeah, that's definitely not bad. That's definitely 
definitely an improvement. Oh, at first I thought that was my PS5, but I guess it's just the water. Is there like, oh no, it's the waterfall over here. Okay. I was like, oh god, what's that sound? Why is my PS5 making that sound? And again, just so you all can see, and I also just don't have the energy to, this is not going to be edited. I'm just going to give you all the raw recording of this so you all can just experience it and have fun with it. And uh, let me know down below how you all feel with it. I just want to be able to get it out as quickly as possible to you all so you all can see the benefits uh, reaped. All right, here we are. Final battle. Let's make it happen. I never really get to play this battle all that much because it's kind of like, I think it's the at the end of this chapter or like in the middle. So like you always get like that annoying stuff first with Dong Zhuo's forces. All right, Zhao Yun, relax. That definitely also drops a little bit with the flames as well when I did that. So that's actually really good too. Got the fire rates really showing its beauty in the PS5. I'm not going to lie. All right, Zhao Yun's gone. I think we can just head straight in there. I don't think there's any, uh, there, there's one other dude I think over here. Was it yeah, I was about to say Gonsoon's on. I think I'll also maybe check out like uh, a snowy area, maybe sometime in the future. But I'm actually I'm curious to see how that looks, but uh, for now I'll probably just uh, hold off on it. If I'm not mistaken, this probably might be the end of the chapter, so we won't even get to really see anything. Let's do another Muso to see how she looks. Yes. Goes Yan Leon. There's still someone behind us who is Wen Cho, I think. Yep. Wen Cho, hi. <laughs> Hep. And there he goes. All right, let's go finish off Yuan Shao. Actually, it looks like he's got some officers in there still. Let's see how it looks uh, in here when it's like everything rendered. Actually, yeah, that was perfect. I need to. I want to see how things render in here because sometimes they don't render all that well, especially like carpets and everything. They don't render all that great. Uh, I don't know if that's how it's supposed to look on the wall. That does not look great, but... For some reason, inside the cast... Inside, like, keep walls and everything are, like... Or in buildings, I should say. Sometimes they just don't render out well. So I'm really curious to see how this is going to look. Like, throughout the castle. Isn't this Guan Du, technically? Yeah, this is Guan Du. If I'm not mistaken. Let's get rid of uh, Yuan Tan. I love that EX so much. I love her just skipping up into the air, just doing damage. And again, if you're seeing anything that I'm missing, be sure to let me know. Goodbye. Thanks, Dong Bai. Hip, yep. There we go. I saw a little tiny tear there. Okay, is there like a carpet in here I could see? So far, no. Normally, the carpets are what I normally like, concern myself with because they sometimes don't render in well. It looks like uh, it looks like everything's okay so far. I think. Again, I, I probably am missing stuff, so don't mind me. Dang, farewell, Yuan Shao. All right. Well, I will say, there's definitely some things that felt a little bit rough around the edges still about this game. Uh, but I gotta say, there is definitely some improvement. There's definitely some improvements that I could see as well. It definitely was uh, quite all right with what we had. Oh yeah, and I mean again, we're loading into cutscenes really fast and all that jazz. So I gotta say that looks really good too. I'm really liking it. You can see the movements of the characters. Looks like they're in a good frame rate as well. Because again, sometimes they weren't on the PS4, which was very disappointing. But yeah, so I gotta say, not too shabby. Not too shabby at all. There's definitely again some things that I might find a little bit that could have been improved as well through the PS5. Uh, but of course, I'm not blaming the console. It's just how the game was made. So of course, not everything could be fixed. Not everything could be smoothed out and all that jazz. This is a very, like, big open-worlded game, which definitely didn't need to be to begin with. But 
You definitely can see that there is improvement with the PS5. There's definitely big changes in the loading time, which is definitely a plus, which kind of makes me want to keep it on the internal storage, or at least for when I do videos and stuff like that. Um, so I definitely say that's a plus there. Definitely liking that. Uh, again, the, the, the cutscenes look very smoothed out. You still get some screen tears here and there on the cutscenes, and also on, um, on the combat and everything. But again, I feel like so, uh, obviously some of that stuff is avoid is unavoidable. Um, so all around, I definitely say like, look at this, loading in quickly, loading in pretty damn fast. I don't know how the yeah. So the carpet right here, I don't know if that's just how it always is, or if it just looks very not well rendered to begin with. Like I, I don't know. Um, but all in all, I'd say so far there definitely has been improvements thanks to the PS5. Thank God for that. Um, it kind of does make it seem like it'd be more enjoyable for me to play because I don't have to sit through, like, hours of loading screens to do all this nonsense and everything. I definitely like it a lot. You know, yeah, actually, now that we're here, let's check out the uh, the snow area while I'm giving my final thoughts. I don't know why. I just felt like I wanted to come over here to shop P and see how everything looks and all that jazz. But, um, but yeah, so, again, good improvements, I think. It definitely looks like it's nicer. Oh, and it's snowing, too. Definitely, I feel like there's definitely improvements to this. I like it. Um... Definitely enough for me to leave it on the internal storage, so if that means for anything, because again, you don't get any of the benefits when it's on the in an external storage device. Because um, I have a terabyte hard drive, but of course I can't get any benefits from it while it's on that terabyte hard drive. Uh, so I have to bring it over to the console storage, the internal storage, in order for it to reap benefits like that we're getting like right here. So, I'd say it's definitely worth putting it on there. So, um, if any of you ever have a PS5 or end up getting a PS5 in the future um, and are curious if having it on here is worth it or not, I'd probably argue to say it kind of is worth it to have it on the internal storage. Again, loading times are incredibly fast, which is the biggest plus in my opinion because the loading times in the games were always a nightmare, especially when you had to go through, like, loading screen, dialogue, loading screen, dialogue, and more of that nonsense. So, yeah, I definitely say that's a big plus right there, right there. Uh, fast travel loading times is also really quick. Frame rate seems to be a little bit more consistent with it. And um, it's definitely more smoothed out during the combat and the musos and even moves that like, again, like uh, like this one normally drops frames for me when I was on my PS4, but it runs perfectly fine and smooth. The fire arrows during the siege battles are definitely smoothed out as well. So you know what? I'm glad I gave it a second chance because I feel like I jumped the gun a little too much. And of course, I I'm willing to make those mistakes. I admit those, to those mistakes. I definitely made some mistakes there in uh, doing that. But I'd have to say that, no, I think all in all, this is actually pretty nice. I'd say that it definitely was an improvement. Can we actually make this harder snow? Yeah, heavy snow. There we go. Now we're talking. Now we're talking. But yeah, I'd definitely say that um, things definitely have improved a bit thanks to the uh, to the PS5. I'm very glad about it. And again, for some, this is probably like, well, duh, of course, it's the PS5. I wasn't 100% certain because this game at the time when I first tried, I was like, okay, it doesn't seem like much has changed. But... I will say, it definitely looks very, very nice. I love how it looks and everything. Um, smoothed out completely. But again, I want to know your guys' thoughts down below. Do you think this is a very well good improvement for the PS5 for this game? Do you think it's not? Do you think it changed? Do you think it definitely helps it? Do you think it's like whatever? It's still DW9. Let me know all your thoughts down below. Especially again to things I may have missed, like with other things like rendering in or something like that, or maybe more screen tears that I missed about in the middle of combat. Let me know down below. I'm genuinely, genuinely curious to know how you all feel about it. But yes, everybody, that is going to be the end of the video. Thank you all very much for tuning into today's stream. And I will see you all. Wait, did I say stream? Thank you all very much for tuning into today's video. Hope you have a great rest of your day and or evening. I will see you all in the next one. Farewell.